Hey, hello everyone and welcome in this video number 46 about Ansible. In this video, we continue to install our uh, Docker Swarm cluster. Uh, in the previous video, we saw how to install our first manager, the leader, about our cluster. And uh, in this video, we just install uh, some workers and some managers to join our leader. If you want, you can subscribe to my channel to not miss the next video. You can uh, follow and like uh, many uh, videos. So you can uh, see the documentation about the Docker Swarm module. We we use it uh, into this video and in this preview and the, the previous uh, video. Uh, so I just uh, we we have already so uh, the parameter par uh, so parameters. Sorry about this module. Um, so we can just uh, skip this uh, this step, and we can go on the manager installation. Um, just basically, we we use an inventory. So we can go into our Visual Studio code. Um, we use an inventory with. Uh, three manager uh, and we can add uh, two managers uh, into uh, into our cluster and we have uh, two workers uh, in our uh, cluster we want to install two workers in our cluster and we want uh, today install two new managers into it so to do it of course we use a playbook in this playbook we just uh, have uh, uh, one uh, one uh, one playbook, and we just use two roles, uh, a general role role uh, to install Docker, and a second role to install Swarm. In this role, we 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 install uh, managers and workers in uh, in the role swarm if we go into task and the main we just install our uh, leader here and now we want to add a task to install to install other manager not leader because we have already uh, install this leader and now we want so be careful to indentation and not sure here yes like it okay what we do so oh sorry uh, maybe um, when here um, what we have uh, here as a notation. Oh yes, remote here, it's not good. And the remote is here and we need to close here uh, our double quote. Okay, we use Docker Swarm module again uh, to join. In the previous task, we use a state to present because we need to initialize our cluster and we need to add uh, our first node into the cluster, the leader. And in the second task, we want to join because we have already uh, installed our cluster and we want to join uh, some uh, some nodes into this cluster, some managers into this cluster. So to do it, what we do, we set a state to join. We define a timeout. This is not mandatory. We reused uh, address address to specify the interface to to use uh, with uh, with our uh, Docker socket with. Uh, uh, the socket for our cluster and 
we use a join token. Join token is very, very important because in this, in the first task, we set a register named underscore underscore output underscore swarm. In this, in this variable, we collect many information about our uh, our cluster uh, when we define uh, the the leader. We collect uh, token uh, two tokens, uh, one token for manager and one token for uh, worker. So in this in, in the second task, we want to add some manager and of course we use a join token for uh, with uh, with uh, with the value for the uh, the manager. So to do it, we uh, just want to request the output swarm uh, variable for only uh, we. We just set it for uh, our leader, and our leader is the first host about the group managers with the index to set to zero. So, to collect and to get uh, the token, we need to go into the fact about the our our leader. So, to do it, we just want. Uh, host var to, to get variable uh, about an host uh, and we this host is here is defined here this is the first host because the index is set to zero about the groups names the group names uh, name sorry managers okay and after we collect this uh, this variable this is this one uh, output swarm we want to go into output swarm okay and in output swarm we set the key where we can find the join tokens for manager so we go into swarm facts this is where we can find uh, variables about uh, swarm into output swarm we go into the key named join tokens we have two tokens into this key, uh, one token for manager and one token for worker. So in this case, in the first step, we want to install manager and we use the manager key for joint tokens. This is a manager uh, token, okay? So we, we, we get it and after we use a remote address uh, to uh, to join our leader and after it what we want to do we just want to run all this task into managers but not on our leader because our leader uh, or uh, have have been already installed okay so we just want run it when we are uh, when we when our inventory host name is in the group manager and our inventory host name is not in the groups manager but not the first indexed about it because this is the leader so with this task, we installed we installed a manager, and after it, we want to install some workers, of course. So we do the same task to install workers. So what we do, we use Docker Swarm. The state define. Sorry, we have. We need to do uh, yes this is, this is here okay so we run docker swarm okay this is uh, our module we just use state to join and uh, advertise address and timeout and in the, the join token 
In this case, we do the same things about uh, the previous uh, task. We just collect join tokens, but we want the token for our worker. Okay, we use the same remote address and we just run uh, this task on our workers group. Okay, so I save it and uh, Remember, we have uh, two groups, one for managers with uh, two se uh, three servers, sorry, one leader and two other managers, and uh, two workers. So I save it again, and now we can go here in the Swarm directory. This is where uh, where I have my playbook and I can use Ansible Ansible dash playbook dash high my inventory and my playbook and remember we use the vagrant so I use the user and I set it to vagrant and I use dash k to use a password for my SSH connection Let's go. Oh, uh, this is not, this is the wrong password. Oh yes, this is the wrong password. Okay, let's go. And now what we want to do, we want, we can go on our leader. This is Devon's one, I think. Okay. go okay and now if we check we just uh, uh, run a docker uh, node uh, sorry docker node uh, ls and before we just have one server a leader and when ansible Indeed, okay, it's good. And now we can run again our Docker node Elis. And now what we have, we have our leader, of course, and we have uh, two other manager, okay, reachable. This is a simple uh, manager, not leader. And uh, two other nodes, this is our worker. Good. And for example, Maybe you want uh, to to add a new host in, um, for example, in manager. So to do it, what we can do, we can go directly into uh, our inventory. And basically, we just want to uncomment to new host. I can save it and I run it again. And without any change just only had two nodes into uh, our inventory we can wait a few seconds and after it of course we'll see two new managers into our cluster so We can wait a few seconds because we need to install uh, Docker and uh, dependencies. Okay, in the new node. And of course, this is the same way to, to do it. Uh, for example, we can, uh, we can add uh, two nodes to our workers group and this is the same, uh, the same process. So we wait the so docker installation on our new node dot uh, fifteen and dot sixteen. Okay, here we can see we just install apt transport https and uh, we add the background to user group. We start docker of course and we just add two new nodes into our manager task. And if we check, we can run again docker node ls. 
what we have, we have two new nodes with a reachable status into manager status because we have two new workers. Good. That's all for today. Thank you for following this video. I hope you, you like, uh, you like it. And I see you in the next one. Bye.